not just storing data, but it's storing it in a way that you can guarantee it won't change. Hello, my name's James Malewish, Head of um, Specialist Sales at CAE, and I'm joined by my colleague Mark Smith, Technical Evangelist for Data Centre and Infrastructure. Hi James. Um, today we're going to talk about digital preservation, um, and we're going to build into a series of videos talking about the topic and some of the challenges for customers, um, and some of our experience in our key accounts. I guess the first, first thing to describe, Mark, is actually what digital preservation is. Yeah, I mean, digital preservation, uh, for me, is the preservation of important digital assets. So that could be anything from cultural assets, art and audio, it could be scientific assets, so you know, typically you know, genomic sequencing and those, uh, I guess, those really important pieces of data that we need to refer to in the future for a long time. Uh, and it could also be things like evidential things, so um, any information that needs to be kept for a significant period of time. And when we talk about a significant period of time, it's more the 25 to 100 year period rather than the five to seven years that maybe you might keep financial records for. So is, is that the key differentiation between, say, an archive or storage in the traditional sense and digital preservation? Is the longevity? I think uh, digital preservation, it's not just storing data, but it's storing it in a way that you can guarantee it won't change and you can guarantee its integrity for a long period of time. So normal archiving, you know, you'd keep a document, you'd keep some information for maybe five or seven years for financial governance. And keeping data for that period of time, that data is normally on the same storage system for that period of time. But when we're talking about 25 to 100 years, you're going to have multiple bits of hardware, multiple software systems. So it's much harder to guarantee the integrity of the data you're trying to protect. Thank you, Mark. It's a fantastic place to finish this week's conversation. Um, and we look forward to expanding in the coming weeks. Thank you. Thank you.